Um, hello, um, I'm Mrs Faulkner, I'm the Head of A-Level Maths and Further Maths at Gosford Hill School and I've been teaching A-Level Maths and Further Maths for about 10 years now. So, you're thinking about taking maths at A-Level, so this is what you need to know. So mathematics is the most popular A-Level subject. As you can see from this graph from 2020, there were over 94,000 students who took A-Level Maths last year alone, and nearly 15,000 students took Further Maths. But why is it so popular, and why should you take it, and why should you come to Gosford to do it? So Maths teaches you to think logically and systematically to solve problems. When you solve a Maths problem, you have to use a methodical approach. This skill is transferable, for instance, to the kind of research you might do if you study social sciences at university. Being able to tackle a complex question and break down your thinking into logical steps is the essence of solving a maths problem. In the workplace, the ability to work systematically and logically to devise plans and execute projects is often highly valued. While studying maths, A-level isn't the only way to develop these skills, it provides a solid foundation. Aside from the applications in work and study, a firm understanding of mathematics is helpful in everyday life for things like interpreting graphs and statistics in the news reports and managing personal finances. GCSE maths equips you with some of the good basics, but A-level maths will secure you with the knowledge and confidence to carry out tasks you're likely to want to do in the future. Maths keeps doors open for future careers, and here are just a few examples. So, what will you learn in A-level maths? Firstly, pure mathematics. This extends GCSE maths and introduces new ideas, starting with pure maths, which underpins everything. You will learn methods and techniques such as proof, algebra, tr trigonometry and vectors. You will also be introduced to some of the big ideas in mathematics, such as calculus, which is differentiation and integration. Statistics is what we would call applied maths and forms a part of A-level maths. Um, and recently we have all become aware of how data is increasingly important to our day-to-day -day lives. Mechanics is the modelling of the world around us, the motion of objects and the forces acting on them. If you're planning a career in physics or engineering, you would find mechanics particularly useful. If you love maths, you can take a second A-level in it, further maths. Now, further maths is an additional AS or A-level qualification that's taken on top of your A-level in maths. It is designed to stretch and challenge mathematics students and prepares them for university courses in mathematics and related scientific subjects. It is a seriously challenging course for the top mathematicians who should be aiming for at least a grade B. As we alluded to at the start of the video, taking A-level maths will support the study of other subjects. In this image, you may have worked out that the larger the shape is the more mathematical content. So some of these, perhaps less obvious subjects that are popular with students, the maths content is mentioned in all of their specifications. So why should you come to Gosford Hill sick form to study maths or further maths? Firstly, we have an expert and specialised team of teachers who are dedicated to your learning and progress. We love teaching maths, and more importantly, we love to see that spark of interest in maths in students being developed into strong and competent mathematicians. Our results over the years speak for themselves, with grades at the highest level being awarded to many of our students. You can see on the data here for A-level maths and for further maths. Student progress in maths has also been outstanding over the years, with many students outperforming expectation, sometimes by up to two or three grades, particularly from our further maths students. 
We have had A-level maths and further maths students going on to many top universities to follow their chosen degree, ranging from economics at Oxford, to chemical engineering at Nottingham, to maths at Warwick, engineering at Imperial, and also medical and veterinary schools. We currently have an offer for a further maths student to study materials at Oxford, which we are very proud of. Okay, so the lessons that you will get at Gosford will have a variety of approaches from traditional demonstration and explanation to using technology such as graphing software to investigate functions and models. You will be in a small class, typically of about 10 to 15 students, where you'll get excellent individual support, but also the opportunity to work with other students. The further maths classes are even smaller, typically about five to 10 students. Now at Gosford, you will also have the opportunity to take AS maths or further maths at the end of year 12, if you are taking this as a fourth A level. This could give you the opportunity of getting three A levels plus an AS level, which would give you a clear advantage when applying to universities in year 13. You could just try maths or further maths for a year and then drop it, but still have a qualification to show for all your hard work. So the entry requirements for maths are grade six at GCSE, and for further maths, it's grade seven. But to be honest, the most important entry requirement is that you enjoy maths and you want to learn more.